With recreational marijuana now legal in our area, some local poison control hotlines are seeing an increase in the number of kids getting sick from eating edibles. In some cases, the kids are under five years old. So now warnings are going out to parents about how and where edible products should be properly stored. Here's our Mac King with details. Mac. Yeah, Laurie, Steve, many marijuana edibles look like candy, coming in brightly colored wrappers that often resemble more harmless commercial products. And the American Association of Poison Control Centers says that makes edibles especially tempting and thus dangerous for children. The majority of time, the parents may not even realize it until the child is not waking up or the child is walking funny. For the last four years in a row, New Jersey Poison Control Managing Director Bruce Rux seen a substantial increase in the number of calls reporting small children accidentally consuming marijuana. We've seen children less than age five, especially the numbers are going up dramatically. Poison controls across the country describe similar increases, including in New York, where poison control received six times more calls of kids eating marijuana edibles last year than it did in 2019. Many of these children are getting sick, and we send a good percentage of them into emergency rooms. They can certainly have things like increased appetite and some confusion, some ataxia, some coordination issues, but the ultimate concern that we have is respiratory suppression. Big Apple Pediatrics pediatrician Dr. Kathy Ward received two calls in the last week from parents whose children unknowingly consumed cannabis edibles at friends' houses. They think it's candy, they think it's gummy bears, they think it's brownies, it's often in lollipops. Like any adult, most children don't stop at one piece of little candy, they eat two, three, four, five, and six. And those dozens of milligrams of THC might take up to an hour to kick in. We have had children with seizures. We've had children needing oxygen. Both Ruck and Dr. Ward advised all parents childproof their recreational pot beyond just placing it atop a higher shelf. Lock it up, lock it up. It would be a sudden onset of things like um, imbalance. They're acting like they're just a ataxic or a little bit drunk. Uh, some kids actually can get the bloodshot eyes and the increased appetite. There is not yet enough data to say with any certainty what kind of long-term effects a child might experience from accidentally consuming a large dose of THC. Steve Lurie. Very well. All right, thanks, Mac. The